In episode 2 of the Young Sheldon spinoff, Georgie and Mandy's marital problems take a backseat as Sheldon's elder brother struggles with his increased responsibilities following the premature death of George Sr. Georgie visits his father's grave at the beginning of the episode. He tells dad that he's doing okay without him, but we soon learn that the demands of being a husband, father, brother, and son-in-law are wearing him down. Longtime viewers will note that Georgie has acquired George Sr.'s 4x4 four four F-150 which he takes to the medical hospital following a quarrel with Mandy. It turns out that he has anxiety, a diagnosis he quickly dismisses as some New York nonsense. Despite his dread of having a heart attack, later, Georgie brings Missy to the grave to see Dad. Georgie wants his problematic teenage sister to go to their father. If she is unable to confide in Mary, she may or may not be consuming marijuana and has just been suspended from school. When he gives her some time, she confides in him about how difficult life has been since he passed away and Sheldon moved out. She sits in the passenger seat of her deceased father's vehicle as the episode comes to an end. Series actor Montana notes that the aftermath of George Sr.'s death and the resulting Cooper family turmoil will culminate in Episode 5 when the McAllisters entertain the Cooper clan for Thanksgiving. In the meantime, Georgie is taking it really well, in my opinion. I genuinely do. Throughout season one, Georgie will keep going to see his father. Regarding a potential Lance Barber appearance, Jordan said, I'm sure there will be some sort of throwback or something. Alternatively, he may appear as a ghost or something. You never know. Steve Holland, co-creator of the series, goes into further detail below about Georgie's problems in episode two and how the spinoff aims to bridge the times between Jibber and Missy's lives in Young Sheldon and the Big Bang Theory. These figures were given a lot more depth and options to work with because of the several additional little shadings. Even returning to the multicam, we believe that this need not be a dazzling multicam. There may be some weight and substance to this with these characteristics we have earned. It seemed like why shy away from more real things since we have these characters that people already relate to and that we have developed over the course of several years. It's fantastic that it fits into the Big Bang canon. We know that Georgie had to care for his mother and sister when his father passed away, so it felt like there was no need to flee from all of this wonderful, wealthy, and practical stuff. Although there are genuine feelings, the play is uplifting and full of love rather than being somber and gloomy. I believe you can understand what it means to be in that situation, even if you haven't watched Young Sheldon. It's not excluding anyone, in my opinion, but it does bring a whole other level if you know Young Sheldon. You really struck the nail on the head. I believe that as a Texas man in the 1980s and 1990s, we were discussing this event and all of the burdens that had been placed on this young child, including a wife, a family, in-laws, a job, his mother and sister, and the death of his father. Being able to go talk to his dad and admit that he was struggling in a way that he couldn't really admit to anyone else felt like the therapy he needed, and that was enough to sort of get him moving forward. He wasn't going to hide that he was struggling, that he needed help, and that he wasn't going to seek therapy. Yes, without a doubt, you know this marks the start of the shift from the young Sheldon Mary to the Big Bang Mary. I believe you're beginning to notice that change. Utilizing these characters to educate Georgie and Mandy is essentially what we're doing when we're discovering these stories. I believe we can have some fun with Missy because we know from the Big Bang Theory that she turns out as a girl who recently lost her father. Her descent into disobedience seems very real, and her older brother, who is now the family's father. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss our latest videos.